Hello there, and welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Mike, and I'm Hanny, and it's the final part of our story unit for this month. We thank all of you guys for coming back to join us for the end of a strange story. Yes, that's right. A strange story is the title of our story for this month. And Mike,、mm-hmm. I think it's safe to say that yes, this story has been a little bit strange.、Yes. A man's daughter got sick. The man went out to get some medicine and never came back. He just disappeared. That's strange. And while his wife and daughter waited for days and then weeks and then months for him to come back home, the man never did. So life went on for the two women. The wife remarried, and eventually the little girl got better. She grew up and married a man named John Smith. And then they also had a daughter, and they named that little girl Pansy. And then, when little Pansy was five years old, she came down with the same sickness <gasps> that her mother had years before. Oh, and even more strange, this little girl Pansy. She got sick on the same day that her mother did all of those years earlier. The same day. Now that is strange.、Mm, and so today we are going to finish the story and find out how all of this is going to end. First, though, we need to learn more about the vocabulary words in today's article. 好，我们今天要来看这一则离奇故事的结局。小女孩 Pansy 跟她妈妈一样，在五岁的时候生病，不但症状一样，还同一天发病。那么 Pansy 的爸爸想去市区帮她买药，可是妻子不答应，毕竟她当年失去了爸爸，她担心会再失去丈夫。我们先来看两个单字。我们刚刚说妻子不答应，用到的单字是 allow。allow 这个动词表示允许、准许，像是。Her parents don't allow her to go out at night. Her parents don't allow her to go out at night. 她爸妈不允许她晚上出门。下一个单词 concern. Concern 在课文里面是当名词，表示考量或是担忧的事情。例如 ，Their biggest concern now is whether the flight will be cancelled. Their biggest concern now is whether the flight will be cancelled. 他们现在最大的担忧是航班会不会被取消。好，故事接着说到 ，Pansy 的状况越来越糟。那忽然间门开了，有个留着长长白发的老绅士走进来，从大衣口袋拿了药给 Pansy。他马上就好起来嘞。好，这边有两个单字 ，gentleman，gentleman gentleman, 就是指绅士，它是个名词。例如 ，Richard。Always behaves like a gentleman. Richard always behaves like a gentleman. Richard 总是表现的像个绅士一样。那最后一个单词 coat, coat 是指外套、大衣，它是个名词。例如 ，You look great in this coat. You look great in this coat. 你穿这件大衣很好看呢。好，那现在看完单词例句，我们赶快读故事，看看那一位老绅士到底是谁吧。John Smith couldn't just sit by. He wanted to go downtown and get Pansy some medicine, but his wife wouldn't allow it. Her main concern was not to lose him. Explanation one. So here we have John Smith. His wife and their sick little girl named Pansy. Now, of course, the parents are very worried about their daughter. And like parents everywhere, they feel that they have to do something to help her.、Hmm. As it says in the first sentence of the article for today, they couldn't just sit by. No, they can't just sit there and watch their daughter slowly get sicker and sicker. They have to do something, and you know what? We actually have to do something right now with you guys, and that's pause here so that Daphne can tell us all sorts of useful information about our first grammar point of the day. Once she does that, we'll be back to keep reading. 大家好，我是 Daphne。今天的第一则文法是 sit by， 意思是坐视不管，袖手旁观。sit 是不及物动词坐的意思 
。三配是 sit、sat、set， 后方用地方副词 by 在旁边修饰，合在一起 sit by。字面意思就是坐在旁边，引申指坐视不管，袖手旁观。例如 ，Evon did all the work while the others sat by。一方包办所有工作，其他人则袖手旁观。Okay, we're back. So the parents want to try to do something to help their sick daughter Pansy. Let's read on to find out what the father is thinking. The next sentence tells us he wanted to go downtown to get Pansy some medicine, but his wife wouldn't allow it. Ah, I guess his wife remembers that when she was a young girl, her father went out to get her some medicine and never came back. Yeah, exactly. So she is afraid that the same thing will happen again. That history will repeat itself. It's almost like she is afraid that her family is cursed by bad luck or something like that. Well, you know, it must have been a terrible experience for her. As a kid, so she doesn't want the same thing to happen again to Pansy. I can understand that. As it says, just as we reach our break, her main concern was not to lose him. Exactly, just like her mother lost her father when she was young. Okay, as I mentioned, it's break time now, so let's go do that and then come back to read the end of our story. Pansy was getting worse. Then, out of the blue. The door opened, and an old gentleman with long white hair entered. Pansy recognized him right away and said, "Hello, here's Grandpa." He took medicine from his coat pocket and gave Pansy some. She got better right away. Then John's mother said. I was late because I waited for a streetcar. Explanation two. So the little girl Pansy is sick, and her mother and father are getting worried. But Pansy's mother doesn't want her husband to go out to look for some medicine. She's afraid that her husband won't come back, just like what happened when her father left when she was young. It's a very difficult and scary situation. It really is, isn't it? So let's read on to see what happens next. Oh dear! It doesn't look good. The next sentence in the article tells us. Pansy was getting worse.、Oh. She was getting sicker and sicker. That is not good. Not good at all. No, ma'am. But wait, something seems to be going on. What's going on? We read. Then, out of the blue, the door opened, and an old gentleman with long white hair entered. Huh? Who could this be? Long white hair. A gentleman with long white hair. Did he have a long beard too? Perhaps. Probably. Perhaps. Santa Claus. <gasps> Gandalf.、Ooh. Professor Dumbledore. <laughs> well, we, we don't, don't know, know. <laughs> and we won't know until we get back from this break, where Daphne will be explaining all about the next two of our grammar point units. Let's pause for that, and then we'll be back for what looks like an exciting ending to this strange story. 第二则文法是 out of the blue， 意思是突然地。The blue 在这里代指 blue sky， 蓝天。Out of the blue 原本的意思是突然间不再是蓝天，引申为毫无预警、出乎意料，为副词片语。例如 ，The singer announced his divorce out of the blue。那位歌手突然宣布离婚。第三则文法是。An old gentleman with long white hair. 意思是一位有着白色长发的老绅士。介系词片语 with 加名词是有着的意思，具有形容词的功能。使用的时候，请你摆在要修饰的名词后方。例如 ，This is a tablet with a keyboard. 这是一台附键盘的平板电脑。Right, we're back. An old man in a long white beard with long white hair has just come to the home 
where Pansy's family are waiting for help for their sick little girl. But who is this man? He isn't the local doctor because they didn't send for anyone. Do you think that this old man could be? He could be, but we won't know for sure unless we read on. So the next sentence tells us Pansy recognized him right away and said, "Hello, here's Grandpa." Grandpa? 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 So Pansy's grandpa would be her mother's father, and if this is the mother's father, then that means that he is <gasps> the man who disappeared all those years ago. Grandpa. grandpa, he's back! Yay! But how does Pansy, the little girl who has never met him, how does she recognize him and call him grandpa? Uh, true. Well. It is called a strange story, you know. A very good point. It is a strange story. So let's get back to it. Okay, so there he is, Grandpa John Smothers, alive, well, and back, baby. And next we read, <laughs> he took medicine from his coat pocket and gave Pansy some. And this medicine really seemed to do the trick. We read. She got better right away. It's a miracle. 好，这个故事真太离奇了。竟然有一位留着长长白发的老人走进来拿药给 Pansy 吃，马上就好起来。这个人不是圣诞老人，不是甘道夫，也不是邓布利多，而是 Pansy 的爷爷。Pansy 一看到他，马上就认出来，说：“爷爷，您回来啦！”好，这边补充一下 ，recognize 这个动词就表示认出。Okay, as for the grandfather, what's his story? Well, he sort of explains where he has been this whole time in the last sentence of the story. It reads, "Then John's mother said, 'I was late because I waited for a streetcar.'" Ah, okay. He was just waiting for a a what? A streetcar? He was waiting for a streetcar, like a bus, like waiting for a bus. He was waiting for a bus for like twenty years. This town of Austin, Texas, where the story takes place, has a very, very bad transportation system. Twenty years for a streetcar—that's crazy. And you might also say that it's a great way to end this strange story. Well, it's an ending. It's a strange ending for a strange story. Well, you guys, that's about all the time we have for you today. Be careful out there, and remember, if you are going for medicine, maybe go with a friend to keep you company, and never ever wait for more than one year for a streetcar in the city of Austin, Texas. <laughs> Good advice. Thanks for joining us, everyone, and we'll see you back here very soon. Bye bye. 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 A strange story. John Smith couldn't just sit by. He wanted to go downtown and get Pansy some medicine, but his wife wouldn't allow it. Her main concern was not to lose him. Pansy was getting worse. Then, out of the blue, the door opened, and an old gentleman with long white hair entered. Pansy recognized him right away and said, "Hello, here's Grandpa." He took medicine from his coat pocket and gave Pansy some. She got better right away. Then John's mother said. I was late because I waited for a streetcar. Hey, 先过一下，先过一下。Okay. Okay. Huh? We ready? All right. Yeah. Oh, it's filming. Ah,、uh, hi, everybody. Hi. Yeah. Well, 欢迎来到 English in Action. Hey, Holly. I am Shane. All right. Today's topic is. Just. 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 Just.
Excuse me, can I get through? Uh, no, you'll have to find another way. <laughs> Bully boy. Oh, you're too big. I don't want to go. Fine. <laughs> anyway, can I get through? Okay, so through is just trying. Yeah. Okay, so hey, Rose, you want to try it yourself? Sure. Or can I get by you? Okay, so by is actually just in some other 旁边，所以我我我可以从你旁边这样。对。而且这个非常直接 ，coming through。<笑>所以这个完全没有问别人的意思，就是哎，我要穿越 ，coming to。I don't care what you feel or think, coming through, coming through。Yeah。所以最后一个其实嗯有点不礼貌，可是没办法，有的时候我真的是 coming through， 我不能问你问题。Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're not very nice. We're 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 always here. That's right. Yeah. So if you want, if you need to get through to us, yeah. No problem. No problem. We'll let you in. Yeah. 有问题的话，嗯，看我们就对了。Can I get through? Can I get through? Can I get by you? Can I get by you? Coming through. Coming through. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny， 又到明分钟单元喽。那我们今天用一分钟的时间来复习四个单词，同学们您都准备好了没？一分钟计时开始。第一个单词呢叫做允许、准许，这字叫什么 ？Allow, allow. You are not allowed to take pictures or film during the show. 在表演过程中禁止拍照或是摄影哦，这是不被允许的。第二个单词呢是表达考量或是担忧的事情，是个名词，它叫做 concern。Concern, 哎，它也可以当动词来表达是什么担忧这样。Okay, people's concerns about global warming have been growing. 人们对于全球暖化的担忧一直不断的增长。第三单词是绅士，绅士怎么说？那就是个很温和的人嘛，所以是 gentle 加上 man, gentleman, gentleman 就是绅士。A nice gentleman held the door open for me. 有一位好心的绅士帮我开门。好，第四单词是外套，大衣，这字叫什么？ Coat, coat. Put on your coat. It's cold outside. 把外套穿上，外面很冷呢。好，不管怎么样，你们在一分钟之内复习完四个单词，也造完例句喽。同学们表现很棒，记得多多复习，多多造句练习哦。我们下次见，拜拜。